Hi, um, I'm Jim Clark, Visual Arts Manager at the Hopkins Center for the Arts. I'm also a practicing draftsman, painter, and sometimes sculptor. We, it, during our shelter in place, great opportunity to get some of my personal work done. Um, so I was digging through and reevaluating uh, existing work, old work, older work, recent work. Um, and there's a piece that I never quite got to a satisfied point with. I've talked myself into being satisfied with it, um, but it, it's not it's not flying for me, and this is a great opportunity to try something um, pretty, pretty new, pretty fresh. So this is the piece, um, and, and quite frankly to me, um, it looks like a horse got a facelift. It's like, it's too smooth. Um, artificially so, uh, so I'm, I'm gonna reassess it and um, dig into it a bit uh, with some less traditional tools, um, my sanders. I'm kind of treating uh, the horse almost like a block of uh, of marble or uh, you know, alabaster, a chunk of stone, and carving away at it reductively. I already think um, it's starting to get a more interesting shape. I think I lost the shape um, in, in the drawing um, earlier. And in addition, uh, a pleasant surprise um, is I like the texture that I'm getting uh, with uh, the sander um, revealing uh, earlier layers and also uh, the value and hue of this birch uh, plywood um, as it relates to the collaged um, 70s and 80s uh, Marvel Comics. I think one of the reasons this one got away from me um, or didn't resolve in the way that uh, I had hoped was um, I was amalgamating or compositing to different references uh, to get to nail the vision that I that I had um, and I think maybe I, I stayed too too slavish to to them both maybe and and one of them should have asserted itself um as dominant or i should have made the selection really the choice to leave one uh, more dominant and i'm only coming to that realization um through these efforts to to save it um and maybe it was fine before um but but i I was never quite satisfied, so um, we'll see if we can't make it better, or um, or you know it'll go in the trash. I'm going to take a photograph of this surface because right now I, I really like what's going on in that area um, but it, it might not um, might not resolve with the rest of the piece um, but it's something I'm, I'm gonna keep chasing it, it's really, um, really getting kind of rich there if I do say so myself I'm going to do some additive uh, adjustments now um, with uh, graphite and charcoal. I'm going to dial in a better jawline. 
I had gone over once with graphite. I revisited my reference and trying to reintroduce some of the subtleties and nuances that I ended up kind of under undermining as I sometimes as you refine you refine too far and the image becomes generic the contour specifically Lost a sense of unique topography. It just looked over generalized. We get some lines back in here to individualize masses. This is just more interesting texture. Ears lost their character too. I don't know how I allowed it to happen like that. But they're just they're too flabby a shape. Like this got to carve in. You get that light probably with the sander and you start to second guess yourself that's why that's why some of these lines get too flabby and generic because you're like well it couldn't possibly be like that in the collage layer there's two maybe three specific events that I want to retain but I hope that I I, well, I hope I'm not forced to um, lose them uh, one is right here that is Conan the Barbarian uh, as drawn by John Bushima and ink by Ernie Chan and then um, we've got the Star Wars um, you know, font, I mean, the, the title, Star Wars title. And then uh, those were the top two comics uh, for me growing up. Uh, then you got Thor's crotch here, and Thor was maybe third. I mean, as a, as a superhero, Thor shows up here too. I, I wasn't so into the superheroes, but more um, Star Wars and, and Conan. So I've got it to a spot where I'm going to take a step back now. Um, still a work in progress, but I'd like to take a little time to plan the next moves, think about it. So uh, stay tuned. We'll post an update.